let's take a look at the J. Dewey cleaning rod system. This is basically the only hard style of cleaning system that I'm going to go over on my channel. Little side note, it's very hard to pick one of these up and not do this. <laughs> this thing's got like skateboard bearings in it or something and it just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning. <laughs> All right, down to business. Let me give you a close up of what is all included and then we'll get to how to use it. The Dewey Rod comes in a kit that was provided to me by Airguns of Arizona so I could do a review on it and show it to you guys. In that kit you'll find the rod itself, you'll find all of your accessories, a bunch of patches and some cleaner and degreaser. One of the things I noticed right away is that you've got male threads on three of these accessories and female on the other and then you've got an adapter. And on the end of the rod, which is three feet long, you've got male threads. This kind of hit a sore spot for me. Um, I don't like that there's male threads on this end and male threads on your accessories. So in order to use pieces that were made for the system, you have to use an adapter to change from male threads to female threads. And not only that, but they're a different pitch as well. So you've got all kinds of weird, you know, male, female thread pitch type of stuff going on here. And, you know, in my mind, it's like, couldn't have that just been a lot easier to make these female threads at the right pitch? You could just screw them right on. But for some reason, it's not that way. And maybe this is used for firearms as well. So possibly the firearms accessories will fit no problem. But since we're dealing with smaller calibers, 22 calibers, um, 25, 177, uh, this ain't going to work for 177. But possibly that's why there's that difference. That's why there's the adapters. Regardless, let's get into how to use it. So let's say I've got a really dirty barrel and I want to go ahead and scrub it. I'll scrub some of that dirt out of there. Get in there into those, uh, into that rifling. Um, the brush is plastic bristled and I like the brush, brush to loosen up all that grit and grime and dirt that's built up in there if you've got a really exceptionally dirty barrel. You might take a patch or your mop even, uh, but you might take a patch and run it through first with some type of solvent like this AOA cleaner degreaser. Run that through and just kind of let that solvent work a little bit. Give it a few seconds, maybe a minute to just kind of soak in and loosen up some of that dirt and grit. Then. I'm going to come in this end and run it down barrel. The problem with this is I'm running this down my barrel and when I get to the end this brush is very long. So you get down to the end and if you haven't removed your o-ring this brush is now you know running over your o-ring so I would recommend taking your o-ring out but then I've got a reverse direction. So I've taken all this dirt and I've pushed it all towards my, uh, my O-ring, the groove that the O-ring sits in, and my transfer port. I've just pushed all that dirt in there, and that solution, if you put too much in, you know, you might get a drip or a run. Uh, you've just pushed it all into the breech, and now you're reversing direction and you're scraping, I mean, we're talking microscopic, but you're scraping all that dirt and stuff right back out. So to use this on the gun, kind of difficult. Um, I, I kind of hesitate uh, to do that. So, well, I'm not going to on my rifle. Where this system really shines is when you can take your barrel off. You can leave your shroud on, you can leave your silencer on because this rod is going to go through all of that in a straight line. But if you can get down to just your bare barrel, it's always gonna serve you the best for getting a good thorough cleaning. Also, this is a 22, so it's not going to work for me, but if I was cleaning, say, a 25, I could take this drinking straw, take off my brush, slide it right around the dewy rod, put my brush back on. The only reason I take the brush off is because it won't fit through the straw. And then 
when I go to put everything in, the brush will come in, and if I have that drinking straw, I can then slide it between the dewy rod and the crown, and that's one more level to protect my crown from anything touching it. So I can just kind of hold my straw in place and then run this right in there. Now, the dewy rod is coated, and it's got a coating on it so that you're not putting metal against metal. You're putting whatever this coating is, call it powder coating, it kind of feels like powder coating, uh, you're putting that against your crown. And like I said, this is where this system really shines because now I can pull and I can go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and I can get a really, really good thorough scrubbing of the inside of the barrel. Then I can change over to, let's say, some patches and I can start to remove the dirt and I can put a patch on, push through. If I want to replace that patch right away, I can take it out over here while the barrel's holding the rod, and I can put a new patch in, and then I can pull through and swap out and push through and swap out, depending on what I'm doing. Or I can just take one of those patches and just keep running it through. Once I get done, I've got my mop here. I kind of think of this as a little buffer, but I, I can put my mop in here and just kind of get out all those fine, particles that might be left over. So every system has its own pros and cons guys and I hate to beat this this system up so much because it is a good system and it is a system that works exceptionally well at what it does. One more thing you're going to get with this that you won't get with any other system, not even the very similar dowel system, is the strength of this rod. Quick story, I had a significant jam in one of my rifles the other day. It wasn't this one, it was another one. And significant. And I couldn't get it out. That wooden dowel would have broke under what I had going on. So I needed the strength of this metal rod in here to go down into that barrel and clear the jam. Nothing else would have done it. And it was nice to have this for that scenario because it's got this rubber coating on it. I could have used any kind of steel rod, but having this rubber coating and having this, you know, the threads down here and, you know, the smaller pieces, you know, I was kind of confident that I could go down in there, clear that jam, and I wouldn't be doing damage to my rifling. Another thing you're gonna get with this that you won't get with any other system is a handle that spins like crazy. <laughs> Sorry guys, like I said, you can't pick this up and not do this. <laughs> now, overall guys, I think it's a nice system. Um, I think I pretty, much, pretty well covered the pros and cons already of this system, and this is gonna stay in my collection. If for no other reason than that jam clearing ability, and the ability to get that super deep scrub on an exposed barrel. So guys, that's pretty much all I've got on the J. Dewey cleaning rod. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. As always, thanks for watching and happy shooting.